In this lesson, we're going to go through a very simple example on how I can load an external file using Ajax. You need to have a local or remote web server set up because otherwise you can't access uh, files from the disk. The reason being um, security, basically, if you were able, think of the opposite, if you were able to access local files from the from a web browser, um, you could visit a, a site that might be an evil site and, and they could get access to all of your files and information. So that would be a really bad thing to have. That's why you can't do it. So you need a local web server so that the files that we're going to be accessing are located in that same domain. Okay, so we have what we have here is um, two containers. If I click on click me, what I want to have is the contents of result.html loaded in this container here and shown. So result.html could be an, a static file like what I'm doing now or you could be uh, targeting a, a PHP file that will retrieve information from the database or or you could be using any any kind of uh, pr any server-side programming language or framework that you want so um, I'm using HTML files just because we're not covering any dynamic language any sorry any server-side languages here um, so let's get started if we look at the JavaScript code all we're doing so far is listening to the click event for the button that has a class switch. We're reusing code from a previous example, as you probably know already. Um, so let's make it so that when I click on this button, um, I call the server and I grab the contents of result.html. And when I get those contents back successfully, I put those contents in this element that has the ID of result. So what we'll be using is a method called Ajax. And using Ajax with jQuery, that's that's one of the main advantages of jQuery besides you know how easy it is to find elements and how to modify them. Um, using Ajax on elements is also one of the core elements of, uh, of jQuery. That's one of the reasons why you would ever want to use it. So um, what we'll specify here is the name of the file or the URL alternatively. In this case, uh, if I just specify a file name, it's all relative to uh, where we're at now, to the root of the, of the project. So since result is in the same folder as index, I can just type result. If result was inside another folder, I would have to type the, the other folder and then slash, and then the name of the file or more subfolders until you reach the file. So this all this is doing is retrieving the file. But now what happens when that is successfully, successfully completed, then, um, we could chain a method that's called done. Um, I'm going to put that in a separate line just to keep it more organized. And inside of done, done we need to call um, this function. The parameter here will be the response of the server. And once I get that result, what is it that I want to do with it? Well, all I want to do with it is put it, um, is put it inside of, um, of result, which is here. So let me grab that select it using an ID selector, CSS selector, and fill out the contents of this element with the server response. So this is the most the simplest Ajax example that you can get. This is the basics, the very, very basics. And it still follows the same um, the same approach that I, that I showed you before, um, where it's still a request to the server and we get a response, but it's just asynchronous. We're not reloading the entire page. So let's see it in action. I'm reloading the page so that we get the code loaded on the, in the browser. And now I click and see that we are getting contents from the server without reloading the page. And we can also um, check that that's working fine if we go to the network tab in, in Google Chrome. And this shows all of the things that have been loaded. So the first thing that was loaded was the entire page, right? And then we loaded this style sheet file, the um, jQuery from the, from the jQuery repository, the script file, and then we got um, result.html. And you can see the response here. You can see um, more specific information on the request itself um, and also the timing, how long it took. So just to summarize this basic example, all we're doing here is firstly having this set up in a remote or local web server, not just local files. Uh, secondly, uh, we're listening to a click event when that's triggered. We call our Ajax method. 
we specify the, um, the target the content that we want to um, fetch from the server. This could have a domain name or it could be um, just a file that's in your server in your same folder and that's uh, publicly accessible. And when that's done, we what we will want to do is show that in the response area.